So, why is that a problem? Well, I recently had surgery, so I still am limited on what I can do with the pups. I've been doing a lot of stuff out back with them, but if they're out there working, they've got their dog out there, Lotus is just gonna go crazy. Not crazy, but it's not gonna be peaceful. It could be, I mean, he adjusts and stuff, but I also just don't like to expose them to that. We're gonna have to do something a little different. So we're about 30, 40 minutes down river. I was basically just looking at Google Maps for like open areas and such, and I found this, but I was hoping this far out it would be kind of quiet and judging by the traffic I've seen so far it's not looking good I was really hoping to find just like an open area but it's not looking great uh, no definitely not okay all right actually as it turns out I think this will work pretty well I've got this even though they had all that crazy soccer stuff going on They've got this section here of nothing but baseball fields, and there's obviously nobody using them. Not only that, every baseball field has fences like around it and stuff, so like we have like our own little private fenced-in area. Oh, I know. It's been a while since it's been me and you boys, huh? Lotus's collar was dead, so charged it up in the FJ on the way here. But this brings up a good topic we can discuss. Some of you have noticed they have these little tags on their collars. You can see that there's a spot for their name, your address, your phone number. You can have multiple phone numbers. You can have some sayings, like I have our say head tilts for days. I also reached out to Road ID and told them that I was gonna do this. You know, we've been using these since we had Enzo. So, I mean, Lotus has had one since we got him, so he's had it for two plus years. And Enzo's had his for, since even before then. Reached out and told him that I was gonna put this in our video and to see and Basically, they gave me a code, it's Enzo and Lotus, so if you click down below, there's a link, and it will take you to Road ID, and then if you type in the code Enzo and Lotus, you guys get 20% off. Yeah, they can have one just like you. Different colors, Lotus has black, Enzo has green. Yep, all good colors, lots of colors. You don't have to sit here, break. You don't have to be here, break. You're the one that always wants to be on camera, talking chatting it up but like I said just click the link and then use the code Enzo and Lotus or not Enzo and Lotus just Enzo Lotus I'll put it on the screen then they can have tags just like you boys yeah learn my lesson you bring three balls that way even if they take them both I still have a third <laughs> All right, that kind of hurt. Not gonna do any more kicking. Might need to switch the Frisbee or something. And so, hey, you, you got the thieveries. And so, really? Apparently I need to bring like five Frisbees. You got the thieveries. You stole them both. Hey, Lotus. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Guess not. Well, that one he'll go for. Now, you, the, the ball, the ball. Hey, the ball. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Go get your ball. Lotus, find. Where's your ball? Hey, Lotus, where'd your ball go? Go get it. Oh, good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, good boys. We're actually really close to the river. So, like, through the tree lines, like, on that, those far fields, is basically the river. Because of that, there's a lot of, like, industrial-type work that is along the river. And we keep hearing this noise every so often and it kind of sounds like fireworks. I know it's not. It's just them like loading or unloading something. Um, and there it went. And Lotus is, I mean, he's noticing it, but he's not paying that much attention to it. There was one that was a little bit louder. He kind of came up to me and then he's just like, he's fine. See, there it goes again. I don't know if you can hear it, but 
So if you saw our, I don't know by the time this video goes up, but one of our more recent videos where we were talking about how we've done a lot of work on Lotus's anxiety and his fear, definitely check that out. Um, because trust me, if this was a couple months ago, he'd be in like in meltdown mode now. You're not melting down? Nope, all good. That's basically a mansion. But then you've got like this thing here. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's still a good sized house, but I like how it's like really hidden. You could almost camouflage it. Oh, there was that noise again. Yeah, we're a little closer now. You gonna get them birdies? You not gonna get him? Hey Lotus, you gonna get them birdies? Gonna get them birdies? Oh, good boy, Lotus. Yeah, get them birdies. Yeah. And so you don't want to get the birds? No. Now, I know absolutely nothing about hunting or hunting dogs, but something tells me Lotus might be pretty good at it. Yeah, I bet you would, buddy. Yeah, I bet you would. Oh, that's a boy. Yeah, get the drinkies. All right, in. Oh, pup, you still did really well. Getting to be a bit too much, those noises. They were some like really loud ones that came pretty like rapidly. So, but he's still doing pretty well. He wanted back in the FJ though once we got here. He was like, Can I just get in? He didn't even pay much attention to that remote control car. I wasn't, boys. We've been here over an hour. I wanted, I made sure that they were out of the FJ for at least an hour. We did like the first 10 minutes of kind of playing with the balls and we didn't do fetch, but playing with the like soccer balls and the frisbees. And then it was basically 45, 50 minutes of us just leisurely walking around this massive facility. It's a bit of a drive from our house, but I think we might have to come back here even when I'm, even when I'm feeling better. But we might come back here quite frequently over the next couple weeks. Break. Break, 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 just go. Break, break. Oh. This is day two of me and the pups alone. We found another area. This one isn't quite as good in the sense that I didn't realize it was kind of part of the bike trail. So we've got a good range where we can see, but there's also frequent bikes. So, you know, and this is really why we need a bigger house, we need property. Lotus, what did you find? It's fine, pop up. So I did the video recently showing you how small our house is, and like I said, it's fine, especially if you're willing to, you know, go out and do stuff like we do. When you're not able to go out and do stuff for whatever reason, in my case, it was surgery, really highlights the fact that, you know, there's so many places we go, but there's very few places where I have a very large view of what's coming. And sure, like the underwater park's big and open, but they've been there a few times, uh, lots of times actually, and I want to give them something to smell. You know, if it's just an open field, there's not as much stuff to smell, I feel like. Because what they're smelling is other animals coming by, people and everything that, you know, stuff happening. And if it's just an empty field where nothing's ever really happening, 
then there's not really much for them to do. So I want it to be safe so that I can see a long ways away, but I also want it to be stimulating for them, low impact stimulating. You know, I've talked about how some of the houses around here are in the floodplain. And if you need proof, take a look at the school that is built on stilts. The entire school is elevated. And I've seen it where the ground is underwater. Where are you going, pup? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the last month, 70% of our views are coming from people who are not subscribed. So if you haven't, think about subscribing. See more German Shepherd content. Enzo and Lotus, thank you. Appreciate you guys as always though, and we will see you, see you in the next video. Break. <laughs>